Hey, what is up guys, and this is going to be another Terraria boss fight, and this time I'm going to be defeating, hopefully, the Eater of Worlds. And the Eater of Worlds is that massive worm-like boss that you can summon using worm bait or summon with every third shadow orb smashed. Okay, and I've got my little platform up here to help me fight him. It's just, um three layers and you might want to block off this so that you don't fall down during the fight I've done that quite a few times it's really annoying um, and anyway my most recommended weapon would be um, uh, if you want to defeat him as soon as possible I would recommend using meteorite armor and a phase blade but at the moment since I have gone further on in the game than that I am using shadow scale armor um, and a staff of regrowth and the staff of regrowth does 20 damage and you can just hold it down instead of whereas any weapon you have to repeatedly click but with this you can just hold it down because it is also used as a tool to grow grass on dirt blocks and anyway so yeah that's basically it I've got my um, worm bait here my orb of light and my magic mirror to transport me back to right there where my bed is. Alright. So, anyway, if that wasn't even needed, then... Well, then it wasn't needed, so let's just get straight to it, shall we? Boss fight! Okay. You try to summon him as early into the night as possible, so that you can get as much... So that you can do as much during the night as possible. But it is also possible to fight this boss during the day, unlike the Eye of Cthulhu, which I believe I have already done a video on. I may not have posted it yet, but anyway. I've definitely made the video by now on the Eye of Cthulhu, so go check that out. There'll be an annotation right here if if I have posted it, or if and when I do post it. All, each of its segments each have 200 health. And yeah, you see the way my stuff of regrowth just, like, completely owns him. And then, yeah, occasionally he'll get you wrapped up. That's why I've got bands of regeneration to regenerate my health. Also using a cloud in a bottle and anklet of the wind. And apparently he is using lag against me, so... Oh, he might win. He might win if he uses lag against me. Oh, and now he's just going to turn around. You see when it gets slower? Now he's turning around. Oh god, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay. Get out of there. You want to keep moving from left to right when he's not up here. Just to let you guys know. And if you do build a platform like this, make sure that it's well lit up or you're using an orb of light or some other artificial light source. But yeah. Oh yes, I just cut his tail off. And he'll drop um, coins, uh, shadow scales, as you can see there, and um, demonite ore, which I haven't got any of so far. He mainly drops the demon knight or after he's dead, but anyways. Oh god, oh god, that scared me. <laughs> and when it's slower it's a good sort of it's a good chance of doing more damage to a single segment. And yeah, since I've built this platform he'll just go through the blocks there and be able to keep himself up here, which is kinda what I want so I can do more damage to him. And sorry if I don't talk much during this commentary, but... Oh, God. But, yeah, I'm trying to focus on the boss fight here. And I'm trying not to use healing potions. I do have healing potions. But I'm not going to try to use them. I'm trying not to use them. Because, you know, I'm me. You've always got to challenge yourself somehow. And this time I'm challenging myself by not using healing potions. And I'm going to end up in a world of pain if I don't use a healing potion sooner or later. Oh god, oh god, get out of there, get out of there, come on. Come on, focus, focus. You can beat this boss. You've beat him like 50 times before, haven't you? No, just three. Just three. Oh god, he scared me. Man, lag, I hate you. I hate you, lag. Yes. I chopped off another one of his tails. I chopped off, I chopped him off in the middle. Oh, yay, lag stopped. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Come on. Oh, he dropped shadow scales over there. No! I'll pick those up in a second. I'll pick those up after I beat him. Okay, come on. Bring it. Bring it, Eater of Worldly. 
here, eater of worldsy worldsy worldsy. Come on. I know you want me. I know you want to kill me. All it needs is a little perspiration and persistence. And a lot of segment breaking, and I'll beat you. He looks 37 shadow scales, and I haven't even defeated him fully yet. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. Come on. Come on, go for it. Just go for it. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes, no. Damn it, I'm nearly dead. A meteorite has landed. Whoa, great timing. Oh, you just distracted me, stupid announcement. Okay, come on. Now I really have to avoid him. I'm, now I'm not trying to do as much damage. I'm just trying to avoid him because he's got so many segments now. It's hard to um, get distracted from it. No, if he does, like... Oh, he only does four damage to me, regardless. Um, okay, even if he... Oh, damn! And then now some of his, um... Oh, the Eater of Worlds has been defeated. Great. Ruin my glory, guys. Thanks. Thanks for killing yourself, like, in front of my whole YouTube audience. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Really, you just spoiled all of my fun. I went through all of that work just to make a video for these guys. And then, what the hell? Oh, that's a Devourer of, um, theme. I like to call it a Devourer of Realms, but anyways... I don't. It's just a devourer. Man, after fighting the Eater of Worlds, he seems so thin. Oh, <laughs> why did I pull out my mini shark on him? I've got 60 healing potions. Yes. Alright. Um. Demon I try to get at me. Alright. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and comment. And I will see you next time, hopefully... Uh, pretty soon, I'm going to be going away for the weekend. I'll be back on Sunday, hopefully, make a video then. But anyways, Sunday my time, I mean, like, anyways. Yeah, anyways, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time on my Sunday, hopefully. And um, don't forget to leave likes and comments and all of that good crap that I like you to do. And um, thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.